Hey guys, what's up? Tim here. And I got something a little different for you today. Uh, I am taking apart my Boker Koiken. Um, yeah, this is the uh, obviously the titanium handled version. And uh, yeah, Lucas Burnley designed awesome knife. Had this knife for a little while now. Uh, I've been carrying it, using it, and uh, really enjoying it. I uh, definitely do plan on doing a full review. Um, actually, most likely a full review alongside the um, the original one as well. So uh, yeah, I had obviously I have the um, my Kaido version as well. Love this one, and I like this one, um, yeah, just as well. So the reason why uh, I'm taking this knife apart is because I want to uh, kind of put my own grease in there, and as well maybe just give it a little bit of a cleaning. It has been carried uh, quite a bit, almost nonstop actually, since I got it. But um, yeah, I, I guess for me personally, I have this kind of compulsion to uh, take my knives apart when I first get them, even though they're brand new, because um, a lot of the times if you put your own grease in there, you can um, get the knife to be a lot smoother. And this one is really, really smooth. It, it flips really well. It um, it uh, deploys really well, you know, with the IKBS and the flipper. But uh, my my original one, my, my Carter version is way way smoother. Um, you can see it kind of has that blade fall. So this has gotten really smooth ever since, I, ever since I took this one apart and I put my own grease in there. So I'm pretty sure these are almost the same. Um, I actually tried taking this apart once but I when I got to, to uh, one side of the scale there was a um, some Torx bits in there that were way too small. Like originally I was using the Benchmade tool and I didn't have a T, I think this goes as small as T5. I think I need a T4. Anyways, uh, without further ado, I'm going to start uh, you know, taking the knife apart. I guess uh, I thought I'd turn the camera on to bring you guys along. And um, that way, you know, we can get to know the internals of this knife. And just in case anyone was interested. So, uh, as you can see, yeah, I went out and bought a uh, precision screwdriver. So this has, I think, from T4 all the way to T10 or T9. Yeah, so great, great little tool. I picked it up at Lowe's. It was like five bucks, so well worth the money. I've got a couple bottle caps here. I'm going to put my screws in just to keep track of them. I'm going to put the um, IKBS bearings in here and my hardware screws in here. So if you guys have never taken apart a knife... Oh, I just took the main pivot off, and I think that that is a T, T8 for the main pivot. So if you guys have never taken a knife apart... Um, especially one with IKBS, I would really um, approach with caution, if you could say that, because um, the IKBS bearings are loose. Okay, I'm taking the scales off now, and the I think these hardware screws are a T6. Yeah, so um, yeah, the IKBS bearings are loose, and if you are not accustomed to tinkering with the internals of a knife, never done it before, do be very careful. Um, uh, see, I've got a cloth here so that in case the bearings do fall out, they don't fly everywhere. Uh, yeah, so do be wary of that. Um, sometimes you might even want to consider keeping a magnet nearby. That way, um, if something does happen, you, I don't know if I have to take this pocket clip. I think I might to take the scale off. Actually, you know what? I don't remember. I think in order to get the knife apart, I have to get this side off. And there are three screws here that go into the back spacer. So you know what? Maybe I'll just leave this on for now. Sorry about that. This is a kind of impromptu. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to film this because it's. Uh, I'm just gonna put one of the screws back in. Because IKBS can be finicky to deal with. But um, you know what? I'm going to... I'll definitely film the disassembly. I may not... I mean, I'm probably not going to film the uh, part where I put it back together. Just because it's a little finicky enough as it is. And it's going to be a little distracting to do it on, on camera. Okay, so I'm taking these screws out. And another screw. So, um, yeah, my... My Quake in here has already seen a lot of pocket time, and the titanium handle slabs are um, 
Maybe they're bead blasted. They're not exactly sandblasted. They're not gritty like um, Sabenza's are, but you can see there's already snail trails on it from uh, Pocket Carry. It's totally, I'm totally okay with that too. This is a user for me. Yep, so the three screws here. So I was actually thinking of actually stone washing these scales, but um, I think I'm going to let them get a little more banged up before I do that. Okay, so how should I do this? Um, I am going to take the pivot off completely. Okay, last time I took the pivot out because I was messing with this knife, I, I was wondering if I could swap the, uh, the, the screws around, the pivot screw, so that the domed part is on the presentation side. That was a bad idea because as soon as I took it out, they, all the little bearings fell out. But luckily, I didn't lose any. Anyways, I'm going to take the pivot. You know, I'm just going to take the pivot out. So should be all right. I've got my towel here, so I don't lose any bearings. Okay, scale has come off. So there's the first titanium scale there, nice and light. I'll put this aside. Okay, this is where the last time I got up to and I realized I did not have the proper size Torx bit. So, now that I do, I'm pretty sure I can get this apart. Is it a T4? Maybe it's a T5. I'm being very careful not to um, strip my screws because that is the last thing you want to do because it will be difficult to put your knife back together. Yep, it is a T5. So these three screws here that screw into the um, tie back spacer, they are a T5 for future reference. So, I mean, this knife is perfectly functional out of box and it does flips great. Um, but I don't know, I guess I, I just like to tinker with my knives and not really re recommended if you haven't done it before on a, like this knife you know you can i think i think the very first knife i took apart was yeah my spyderco tenacious and um i was like a little nervous then never taken a knife apart before but um yeah it went all right and ever since then yeah messed with uh quite a few knives you know it's just comfort level right you gotta start somewhere Okay, taking this screw out. One more. This one seems like it's just spinning. Okay, again, I'm being very careful to keep everything hmm. I'm gonna screw I can screw it back in. I think is this as far as it comes out? Maybe. Okay, I can be very careful. Yep, knife is coming apart. Oh, there we go. Okay. So there's the titanium backspacer. And, uh, and this is the uh, stainless steel liner. So backspacer right there. I'm going to put that here. We should put our screws in here. And guys, always, you know, do your best to keep track of which screws go where. Um, you definitely do not want to lose track of what goes where and cause a headache okay oh look at that oh there's two bearings on the frame but uh, okay I'm gonna do this really carefully so as you can see there are the internals still a good amount of grease on them actually so it's about this I think this is actually slightly different from the design of the um, the internals of the Mike Carter version. I don't believe they had a channel cut out for the bearings. Um, so this one does have it, which is why when I took the pivot out, they didn't just come scatter and fall out. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's actually quite a pleasant surprise. So that means you can yeah take the you can mess with the pivot and not worry too much about the bearings just falling out. So you can see there's a bit of poculin in there. I think the grease is actually still okay, but you know what? I've gone this far. I might as well put my own grease in there and uh yeah i think that should be pretty fun okay so uh i think that's as far as i'm going to go with the video um so what i'm going to do is um yeah clean up the bearings put my own grease in there and yeah put it back together 
right? Oh yeah, and of course this. Uh, Okay, sorry I got cut off there. This uh, camera apparently cuts off at around 13 minutes. Anyways, uh, this channel is for the internal stop pin. And um, yeah, there's a lock bar. Put this right here. Very carefully. Yeah, here is the lock bar. There's a couple of bearings still on there with a bit of grease. Yeah, pretty cool. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to cut the camera now. I'm going to put everything back together, and um, hopefully the knife will be a bit smoother, um, or we'll see where it goes. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so I've got my knife put back together. I got my desk cleaned up, and uh, yeah, it's, um, got everything back in place. And the knife is—it uh, is a bit smoother, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's—it's um, it's not crazy uh, smooth as my my Carter version it's not super significant but um, I do feel it a little bit yeah it is a little bit smoother than before and I did notice that the grease um, that comes in these knives is actually it's actually kind of sticky so it doesn't flow as nicely as um, some of the uh, grease that you may have at home I'm using the um, uh, Century Solutions High Slip Grease. Pretty decent stuff. Not the best stuff out there, but um, I think it serves its purpose and it's great for your, you know, multitude of uh, knives, bearings, or, you know, uh, bronze washers. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Awesome, awesome knife. Uh, interesting point. Um, there are actually 20, 20 IKBS bearings on each side of the pivot as compared to, I think there's about 12 in this one because um, when I took it apart I did count them and um, that's it that's kind of interesting um, yeah this titanium one isn't nearly as smooth as um, the micarta version that I have but um, still very smooth and um, yeah do be careful when you're pay attention to what you're doing and be careful when you're putting your knife back together because when I uh, first put it back together I somehow managed to put um, 21 bearings on one side and I guess 19 on the other and uh, when I flipped the knife open, like for the first time after putting it back together, it made a kind of a squeaking sound. I was like, oh, that's not right. So I had to take it apart again and, um, you know, get everything right. But um, yeah, overall, uh, wasn't too bad. It went pretty smoothly, no disasters. So um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm going to definitely do a um, comparison or review of both of these knives. I don't think I have done a review of this one yet. And uh, honestly, these this current design, man, definitely one of my favorite uh, designs in my collection right now. Two of my favorite knives. So, um, yeah, I think that's everything, guys. So I'm going to cut this video off now. I think it's gone on long enough. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys found this video interesting. I uh, hope you, you know, enjoyed seeing what the insides of this knife looks like. And, um, yeah, I will definitely be doing a comparison slash review of these two knives in the near future. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and um, if you'd like the video too, that you know that'd help me out a lot. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.